Alright, go B. So this is basically Blender solution to go Z, which you can use to transfer meshes in between Blender and to ZBrush and back and forward again, while importing or exporting. So simply head this description to download and I'll put that in the link below. This add on this add on is made by Joseph Casino and yeah, thanks a lot. So simply hit the code and just download that as a zip file. After downloading the file, simply right click and then extract it. Open the extracted file and we want to copy the Blender folder into the GoZ app inside for ZBrush. This folder is usually located inside the users, so simply go here, users, and then public, and you'll find something called Pixel Logic, and then you want to find the GoZ app and simply paste the file over here. For me, I really have one here, so I don't really need to do it. But simply just control V and then paste it in there. After come in the Blender file into the Go Z app uh, folder, just simply go to Preferences inside of ZBrush and then go to Go Z and then part the Blender to connect Blender to ZBrush. If this option is not showing for you, simply close down the program and restart your computer and run ZBrush as administrator. Then you should see something like this. Click on Part the Blender to connect Blender and this version of ZBrush. Uh, currently using Blender 2.9 and also ZBrush uh, 2021. So but it should work for other versions as well. The search for application thing will take some time, about a minute or so. So just be patient, then you should see something uh, like this. So simply browse for the version of Blender you want. For this for this one, it's really connected to Blender 2.83, but that's not the one I want to, But and I want Blender 2.9. So I'm simply gonna hit browse. And now it's about time to find out a Blender EXE version that you wanna look for. For me, that's uh, this PC, look at this, go to program files, and then Blender Foundation, and I want to put 2.9, and then that is the one that I want. To link up the other side of things, we need to enter Blender and hook that up to also go B. So open the version of Blender they connected to ZBrush, and told me that is 2.9. Simply go to Edit, Preferences, and then you want to go to Add-ons, Install, and find the zip file that you put it into. For me, that was inside downloads, and I think that was new folders number five, and then go B, zip, and then simply add the add-on, and turn it on. Another thing to mention though, if you really downloaded um, go B before and use it on a different version of ZBrush with a Blender, then just make sure in the side preferences within go B. Uh, add-on this makes the ZBrush location is correct for mine is it was previously set to by default to the 2020 version Which is located in a different drive. So just make sure that one's correct And if it's not just search for the right exe for the right version of ZBrush that you're using right now All right now you should have see two different buttons that should show above right here if you hit the export button, that will transfer things into ZBrush and importing will transfer the file back into Blender. So simply hit export with the thing selected, mesh selected, and just simply dragging and then you're able to import the mesh from Blender into ZBrush. And holding down shift, you can able to stabilize it a bit. So I mutilated the cube a bit, changed up, changed up some of the surfaces of the cube, done some sculpting, and just want to import everything back into Blender. That cube is going to win so many international prizes. So open up Blender, click on the cube, select the cube, have the original file open, and simply click import. And things hopefully it should work. If it doesn't though, simply go back here. Go to go Z. Click on continue. And just make sure you, they should show four different tabs for selection. And just make sure Blender is selected. Mine by default has 3D Max selected by default. If if it, yours is stuck on 3D Max, just click install and just force your way through it and select the Blender EXE, a right version. And going back to Blender. Hiding the cube is the mesh right here. So this is something I just got from ZBrush. And click right import and just, just bring it back. And if I want to make some changes over here, let's hit go to edit mode for a bit. Click here, edit mode, and hit O, and then drag this up a bit, and then export, and everything should just update as it is. And yeah, that's how you get things from ZBrush back into Blender into ZBrush. 
So if they, anything goes wrong, just to make sure, go to preferences, go to go Z, and go to path to Blender and make sure the location is correct, and then go hit go Z if anything does not is not importing correctly. Um, hit that and just make sure Blender is corrected, uh, selected, and not 3D Max or anything like that. And if yours is stuck on 3D Max, just force your way through it. So say install location and then click the Blender EXE, even though it's supposed to be for. 3D X Max. Gopi is something that is officially supported by ZBrush, I believe. So just play some trial and errors, and for a different, for every, every single installation, it's always a bit different for me. So this video, we want to make this video. Um, credit to this video goes to us Anki. I followed his tutorial first and to create my own a bit. I found my installation process was quite a bit different from his and he skipped a bit a lot of his beginner proportions. But if you want some more details on how to configure everything, some more details on how the add-on works, I recommend checking out his video, but he minds just the basics. And every single installation is a bit different, so I thought of having my own input into how I install my thing to get things to work because it can be useful. As I remember getting things to work in the very beginning was very confusing and frustrating so i hope this extra perspective has helped people to get into um go be basically because it's very frustrating when things doesn't work thank you for watching everybody and hope you have a great day bye bye